Well, back in the 1990s, Nueces County was known as the teen pregnancy capital of Texas. We had one of the highest teen pregnancy rates in the entire country. But the latest data on that shows the rate of teen pregnancies here has dropped by more than 50%. And tonight in the Chris Six News special report, our Emily Hamilton joins us with more on what professionals believe is the reason for that decline. Well, Lee, officials speculate there are many reasons for this drop in numbers. One spokesperson with the Nueces County Health Department said young women are now focusing more on their careers instead of starting families. In 1990, Nueces County led the number of teen pregnancies in the state of Texas with 926 teen births that year. Cedalyn Monreal gave birth to her daughter when she was just a 16-year-old student at Robstown High School. With plans to attend college, she remembers the shame of telling her mother she was pregnant. She was very upset, um, sad. I think I, I kind of just, it was, I was supposed to be the first for everything. She briefly attended Texas A&M Kingsville, but at times she felt like she'd lost control. School and homework and studying and then taking care of my baby and working. It was overwhelming. It was just so much. Jumping forward two decades, those statistics have been cut in half with 458 teens giving birth in Nueces County in 2016. Experts with Women's and Men's Health Services believe conversation is a key reason for the decline. We have so many parents that are willing to bring in their kids now. And I want to say it's because I think that in the 90s, whoever was a teenager then now has a teenager now and doesn't probably want their children to go with what they went through. Acknowledging that not all teenagers practice abstinence, the clinic provides low cost and sometimes free services to teens, such as pregnancy tests, condoms and STD screenings. They also visit schools to teach kids about the options that are available to them. And if you're a teen or a parent of a teen in need of help, the clinic is open Monday through Saturday, and we do have the hours of operation listed on our website, ChrisTV.com. Lee. All right, thank you very much, Emily.